Welcome back to the BFB Podcast. I'm your host, Savandon Smith, and thank you all for watching. If you are listening over on our audio platform, such as Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, we still have it, then I really do appreciate if you would just leave us a comment as well as a rating, a good rating if you really like this episode. And if you're watching over here on YouTube, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and most of all, most of all, you make sure you share this with a friend. Now, the subject at hand is Kendrick Lamar's uh, Glatensbury, I think that's how it's pronounced, Glatensbury performance, uh, festival performance rather, and he was the headline. And at this festival performance, he had a crown of thorns on his head, which is the second time he made his appearance. First time was on his album. And he also had blood on his face this time with blood on his shirt. That was the picture that I saw earlier on Facebook, which kind of, you know, prompted me to want to do a video about this because I felt it was disrespectful. I'll get more of my thoughts in a second, but I felt it was pretty disrespectful and I want to do more research before I talked about it. So did more research, saw the video and I saw that he was actually advocating for women's rights. In fact, his exact words at one point of his performance was, Godspeed for women's rights. They judge you, they judge Christ. And he said this multiple times. Now, I want to just pose a question. Before I get deeper into this, I want to pose a question that I really want you all to sit and think about. Should there be a limit on creativity or should creativity have limits or should there be boundaries with one's creative process and i asked that because the reason why this did offend me that i did not like this at all is because i'm gonna say what i said on facebook there's too many people well let me let me even be more targeted what i'm going to say right now there are two there have been too many rappers at one point there's always a form there's always a jesus reference or a crucifixion or cross reference we saw this with tupac even as well don't get me wrong I, what tupac was going for and everything there's some tupac songs that really still hit home so i'm not coming against Kendrick Lamar or Tupac's uh, lyricism or their anything regarding their talent. I'm not coming at them regarding their talent. They're talented individuals. I'm not coming at that. But there seems to be, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? There seems to be an affinity for looking like Jesus on the cross, like you're being crucified. Yet the irony is the people who look like this don't want to crucify their flesh to submit to him and follow him. And that's the part that's disrespectful. Because it's sad to say that many people would only pull something like this on Christianity. People won't do this with other religions. People won't do this with Buddhism, Hinduism, I could, the list could go on, especially some, some religions that are really opposed to Christianity. Like there's people who would never, ever dress up as the God of their religion, of those other religions and go on a public stage to make a performance, no matter how positive the message is, that is a big no. So the fact that Kendrick was on stage, which he was advocating for women's rights, saying, Godspeed for women's rights. They judge you, they judge Christ. Almost to say that Jesus would support the rule, the, the previous ruling of Roe versus Wade, which was the, the ruling of abortion. He would approve of that ruling. And regardless of what anyone's feelings are. I'm not getting into anyone's personal view. What I'm going to get into is to take on the character and the image of Christ 
and to almost put it like he would promote that instead of you just doing that in your own skin instead of just doing that in the way that you yourself would say it but you're doing it in in response to looking like what many people who many people worship as their lord and savior is just straight up disrespectful bottom line that is just straight up disrespectful and that's not cool that's not cool at all it's like it's like there's many people that would defend this because of the message he's saying and the message as what people would say to be positive but i want to throw a, a spin on this and i want you all to still follow me on this would you feel the same if somebody had a positive if a quote-unquote positive message because positive negative are perceptive so or suggestive rather um if someone had a positive message right but they did it while wearing blackface how would you feel would you feel that this person is disrespectful knowing the origins of where that came from and how offensive that is to people of color in this country would, would it be okay because what he's saying was good it wouldn't be okay let's let's go to, to another example what if somebody was misappropriating native americans but yet their message was positive while on stage would it be okay no it wouldn't it wouldn't be okay and that's the point that i'm trying to make we try to give it a pass because it is well known that Christians promote peace, that Christians who actually practice the faith go about it by being gentle to all men, go about it by loving their neighbor and their enemies. And because of these perceptions, there is a false perception of us being pacifists. And we could, we could get into that deeper in another another video but because of that image people feel that they have the green light and the license to mock the god that could strike down all the other gods that they've served including the altar of themselves now i'm not here to bash anyone but at the same time i'm not going to hold my tongue at the same time, I'm not going to hold back on what's right and what's wrong. At the same time, I'm not going to sit here and call a spade a spade. That's just the bottom line. What Kendrick did was straight up disrespectful to a large community of people who truthfully serve their own God. And to get on a public stage to for the sake of art to look like Jesus because you feel as though there's a you are a messiah type that's not okay and again I don't want to make it seem like I'm coming at the brother because I'm not I'm just saying what's not okay I actually pray that this brother repents because We all can miss it sometimes. And that's where I wanna just offer grace. We all can absolutely miss it. I myself had a name, my old name before Avedon Smith, my old stage name was rooted in Egyptian roots. Anyone who knows the true um, roots of Christianity, you read throughout the Bible, we're called out of bondage. We're called to leave Egypt. And I'm here making myself part of e Egyptian culture while calling myself a Christian. So for the sake of art, I get it. We can miss it. We can miss it. So I'm not sitting here mad at the dude, but again, like I said earlier, I'm not gonna hold my tongue. And I actually wanna speak out against Christians calling him out of his name because we shouldn't do that. 
Now this ain't the time to start calling him goofy. This ain't the time to start saying like, yo, he's off. Cause I heard that from a few people. That's just not one person singled out. I heard that from a few people. And I'm like, nah, let's not do that. <laughs> let's use our words responsibly and let's actually speak well of the brother. The word says, bless those who persecute you or who despitefully use you. Bless, not curse. And in those, and actually in that context, the word curse is rooted in the word execrate or execration, which actually means to see as detestable, to speak, to, to detest, to speak really evil of. So in nature, let's not do that. Let's actually speak well, even of the people who are doing wrong. Doesn't mean we can't call out what they're doing is wrong, but we should still have a level of respect where it's like, okay, you know what? I don't like what this person did, but as the word says that we wrestle not with flesh and blood, I understand that this man is battling spirits that he has no idea that have him in a, in a stranglehold right now. And my last point is, I just really want to edify the body with this. I really want us to be encouraged to know that we're going to see more things like this. We're going to see more people and more mockeries of our Lord and Savior in these last days. Take this time to be encouraged. Take this time to grow more in your father. So you can look more like him and have more grace for the people who are sinning against him. Remember, salvation is a rescue mission. So in a sense, for those who are against you, pray for the wisdom to take them with you to glory. So that said, I appreciate you all for watching. I ain't going to keep this video for too long because... I just looked over and I saw I'm at like almost 13 minutes, but I ain't going to stretch this out longer than what it needs to be. This is just really the episode of the podcast. It's should creativity have its limits. And I think we kind of have a resounding yes with that, especially with the blackface and the Native American examples. I, you, if you don't think creativity should have limits, and you think that people should be able to say whatever they want and do whatever you want for the sake of art. Sad to say, perhaps you may feel entitled and you are probably misusing your talents in order to serve yourself as God. And that's another topic for another day. That said, hope you all liked this video. Hit that subscribe button. And most of all, most of all, you share this with a friend. This is Abaddon and I'm out. Take care y'all.